。咁喺個時間裏面咧，咁我緊要唔要？我哋專為講完咧，要請嘢嗰啲。講完咧，請嘢我唔使。咁咧就係。啲事情先啦，嚇！咁我我哋主因為咧，主人愛我哋，因為見到就係呢班人咧，點解叫世界上最快樂人咧？因為呢班人咧，一個自然嘅時候咧，佢為我成為個神嘅面，佢見到啲男人啊，個個揾食，教會咧就係啲好熱心嘅姊妹，同埋啲後生細路仔喎，男人去邊度咧 ？Well, why you see these bunch of people that are so happy that because it's all originate from a gentleman called Demos? Uh, in the 50, that uh, when he before he started his fellowship, he saw that all those people going to the church are just the ladies, but no men. I thought about that, hey, why is only just ladies, while well, if all the men in this society all come together, like the ladies in the, you know, uh, go to the church, and then when they go back to, uh, to work, they can share the gospel with their co-workers, with their business partners, and then, well, the whole this world will be different. <coughs> <coughs> 原來得嘅喎，原來你講見證，因為我哋唔係講道嘛，基督教好多牧師嘅，我唔係採你飯食啊嘛，我哋唔係講道，我講見證，我生命見證點樣做 pray boy， 就成為個 pray boy。咁你見到咧係佢嘅生命裏面咧，以前咧同個太太嘅關係啊，同細嘅關係啊，所有嘢都都打唔完。但係咧，一認識到耶穌嘅時候，生命有改變，因為呢個唔係一個宗教，唔係一個 religion， 係一個生命 religion。Let's God start giving an idea. That uh, he will start inviting all the men, men only, to come to the banquet. And during the banquet, he's going to share his life testimony with those guests and those uh, comers. And then he found that it works because God's work, God worked. Well, within a nation, Family is a very key factor of the whole nation. And within the family, if something goes wrong with the man, then we have a problem. So, so once if the husband, the man, know Jesus, and then the, 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 the wife would be, would be very happy. So, our very small and that name is called Wife Loving Fellowship. And we really, really appreciate and respect our spouse. When we first open up our eyes, the first thing we get to praise the Lord, and the second thing is to praise our wife. We have to do it, not to do it, not to do it, not to do it. 全係咁做，係用我心裏面，哇！老婆咧係全世界最美麗嘅女，一個大太最美麗嘅。主啊，你真好啊！日都我哋拍拖啊，唔使話情人節先啊嘛。有咩？我日都係情人節，拍你女人。Well, we do it not just once in a while. We do it every single day with our heart to say to to、uh, to say our wife and say we love you. I love you. I love you. 因為我同耶穌嘅關係就愛情嘅關係，係每日裏面係火焰啦，唔係一個宗教，唔係帶住翻教會，話我哋好好好，話好,好真好好熟靈啦。入口原來又鬧老婆，又打仔，一口又踢下咁樣。喺公司裏面又偷懶啊，做生意又唔老實啊咁樣。所以呢個係一個生命，影響生命。So actually saying a relationship with our wife is saying as a relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. We're talking about a relationship with our Lord, not just a religion. A religion cannot change people, but a relationship and His love can change people. So we give honor to give glory back to our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's stand up. 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 Let's stand
我哋就要我哋咧喺呢個時候裏面咧，我哋交俾阿 Ben 聽，嚟到介紹我哋今日嘅誒見證嘅嘉賓。How are you guys this morning? Very good. 大家今日今天早餐好啊 ！This is Sunday, so it's welcome from Toronto. So can I hear louder? Excellent. 好似唔係簡單啊！歡迎唔係係多倫多熱烈嘅歡迎，係。How are you this morning? I would like to introduce our first special speaker this morning. 誒，而家我哋要係特別介紹一位好特別嘅嘉賓嚟到我哋當中嘅。You may not know, he's not actually living in Toronto. He's from Calgary. Well, he was riding actually by the Toronto Bay in Calgary. So when we, you know, welcome him, so we need to have, you know, blessing from Toronto and boom, yes. 哇！我哋今日要有一個祝福，有多人多嘅祝福，送到去 Calgary， 送到去全國加拿大。Do you think you can handle this? Also a Christian. Ah, Honorable Jason Kenny is also a Christian. So let's go there. So this morning, this morning, we're not talking about politics. 今朝我哋唔係嚟講政治。We talk about Lord Jesus Christ. So we're going to do a less introduce our guest very special guest, Canada National Defense Department Minister, Honorable Mr. Jason Kenny. So thank you, xie xie da xia, to the Full Gospel Businessman's Fellowship, uh, and to all of those uh, who bring such uh, such deep faith and trend and just obvious love to their mission. 谢谢全国人都邀请我来，他们有这么大的信心，能够有这样的使命，要把神的爱来传出去。So thank you to the Toronto Chinese Evangelical Ministerial Fellowship and Mission GTA. 也谢谢多伦多华人基督教会，谢谢大家的邀请。And I'm going to read out some of the folks who are responsible for this, including many of the pastors: uh, Alan Tan, Dominic Say, Henny Bogassian, Harding Ng, Alvin Nicholson, Jason Lin, David uh, Curley, Dan Colwell, and Gideon Chu. Give them all a big hand. <laughs> Friends, I also want to point out some of uh, some of my friends and colleagues uh, who I hope uh, will be serving Canada in our Parliament after October 19. Please join with me in welcoming uh, candidates for Parliament: Peter Kent and Thornhill, John Sinisa and Rahayishan, Nicholas Hosherich, Joe Daniel and Don Dark North, Sabrina Zuniga and Sadam Nkorbo, Thompson Liao and Willow. Michael Parsai in this room. This year, James Robinson in New York South Western. Leslie Lewis in Scarborough Beach Park. And Chuck Hoffman in Scarborough Beach Thank you very much. And uh, all of these fine men and women, people in principle, and I want to thank them for their presence. I am so moved to see your banner that God will keep our land. We just want to be blessed by God. We just sang those words in our nation's anthem, O Canada, God keep our land glorious and free. This is in our Canada song. It says, "God keep our land glorious and free. Let our land be free." Now there are some people who would have us believe that people of faith in general and Christians in particular are not welcome 
uh, in the public square in Canada any longer. And they could not be more wrong. Well, come and tell me because people of faith are integral to Canada's history and identity. In our own, uh, let me tell you a little story about the founding of Canada. When the fathers of confederation were seated around the table uh, for the Quebec conference in 1865 to form the first Canadian constitution, they were asking themselves, what should be the motto that expresses the identity and the, the dream of Canada? And one of them, Sir Edward Tilley, said, you know something? Just this morning I was doing my scriptural meditation and I read the 72nd Psalm and something struck me very strongly there. He said, in the Psalm it says that he shall have dominion from sea unto sea, and from the wide river unto the great ocean. And they were talking about this audacious, seemingly crazy idea of a dominion from sea unto sea, from the Atlantic unto the Pacific, and from the wide river, the St. Lawrence, under the great ocean, the Arctic Ocean. And so they decided to adopt that verse from the 72nd Psalm, from sea unto sea, in Latin, ad mari usque ad mari, as our national motto. And they also chose from that the official name of Canada as the Dominion of Canada. Dominion of Canada. But fast forward to 1982 when Parliament decided to adopt uh, new aspects to our Constitution, including the Charter of Rights. And in it they chose the following words for the preamble to our Constitution. That whereas Canada is founded upon principles which recognize the supremacy of God and the rule of law. And, and not only that, a year later they made, they made a change to our national anthem. And Parliament decided to insert in the English version the words God keep our land glorious and free. And that is the Canada that we celebrate today. A Canada that is open to people of all faiths and no faith, but which is founded upon the idea that our human dignity is rooted in being created in the image and likeness of God. Because if our rights are just given to us by a majority, or by the parliament, or by the state, or by the judges, they can take those rights away. So I believe this is why the parliament in 1982 decided to start the Charter of Rights with the words that Canada is founded upon principles which recognize the supremacy of God and the rule of law. Now friends, I was asked to give a, a bit of a testimony and uh, so I want to reflect a little bit of my own faith story for you. I was raised in a home without, uh, uh, in, a, in a, what we would call, I think, a nominally Christian family. Without a, uh, my, my parents, my family didn't really cultivate my faith as a child. 
but I was always naturally interested in spiritual things. 但是对于属灵的事情，我是非常有感兴趣的。And、uh, as a young man, I went to university in San Francisco. Ah,、uh, 我年轻的时候，我是在三藩市上的大学。Ah,、uh, where I studied philosophy and history and, and theology. 我读历史，我读哲学，我也读神学。And、uh, I was in university in San Francisco between、uh, 1987 and 1991. 一九八七到一九九一年，我在三藩市念呃大学。And、uh, I was a Christian in an intellectual sense. I accepted the basic tenets of the Christian faith intellectually, but maybe not in my heart. 我理智上我是一个基督徒，我相信上帝所说的道理，但是也许在我心里面都没有进去。A friend of mine told me that Mother Teresa, remember Mother Teresa of Calcutta? 有一个朋友跟我说，你知道德瑞莎修女吗 ？That Mother Teresa was establishing a a hospice in San Francisco. With her nuns from around the world. 那就是德瑞莎修女在三藩市，她有一个机构跟这些修女一起来推广神的福音。And this hospice was specifically for men who were dying of AIDS. 这个特别的机构呢，是为了谁呢？为了这些呃男人正在艾滋病死亡边缘的人来服侍他们的。In the late 1980s, AIDS was claiming. Tens of thousands of lives in the United States and in Canada. Nobody really understood what the disease was or how to treat it. 在一九八零年代后期呢，在美国、加拿大，大家还不清楚艾滋病要怎么样的来得到医治。And there was a lot of fear. 有很多的恐惧在当中。There were fears that if you had close, that AIDS was was easily communicable. 他觉得好像说，那我有艾滋病，我是不是不能跟人家沟通了？ And So many people didn't want to be close to those who were、uh, dying of AIDS. They felt fear. Too often, this disease becomes stigmatized. Because people are very scared, they don't know what AIDS is, so they don't want to talk to these people who have AIDS. So they feel like they are being burdened by a burden. But Mother Teresa's nuns, the missionaries of charity, are, are, were and are devoted to a radical kind of love. 但是这个德瑞莎修女还有他们的机构呢，他们就决定要对这一群人施展爱心。And they wanted to demonstrate that love to those who were the weakest, the poorest, and the most marginal in our society. 他要对那些在边缘的人，在那些最穷困、最困苦的人来展现他们的爱。And they wanted to preach their faith through their actions, through their love. 借由他们的行动、爱心来说出他们所相信的是谁。And so they were the first to establish a hospital, a place where men dying of AIDS could die、uh, in dignity, surrounded by love. 所以他们就有这个机构，是一个医院，使得在临终艾滋病的病人能够在在尊严当中离开世上。So I heard about this and with a, with a friend volunteered to help. At Mother Teresa's hospice in San Francisco. So I heard about this thing. I just volunteered with my friend to go to work there. And、uh, what we did was to mop the floors and help the laundry and do menial tasks. We just said to sweep the floors, to wash the dishes, to do some very menial tasks. And then we would leave the room. 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 我就记得德瑞莎修女她说：“我们经由最小的事上就可以展现出我们的爱心来。” She said, "Not all of us can do great things, but we can do small things with great love." 她说：“我们不是每一个人都可以做伟大的事情，但是我们可以做小事情，把它伟大的做好。” And that's what we tried to do. And we, but here's the amazing thing: the men who arrived in this hospice felt completely bereft, completely、uh, hopeless. 这些来到这个医院的人，完全是绝望的，完全是没有盼望的。They they had been abandoned by their families in most cases, abandoned by their friends. 很多人是被他们家庭、被他们的朋友所抛弃的。They were isolated, lonely, and they often felt angry, angry with the world, angry with them, angry with God for this disease. 他们被隔离，又是他们觉得愤怒。为什么上帝让我这样子？为什么我要得到这种疾病 ？Now. The missionaries of charity did not read the gospel to them. They didn't、uh, preach to them. All they did was to radiate the love of Jesus through simple actions. 
这些机构的人，德善修女人，他们没有跟他们传福音，没有传教，只是用他们的行动在爱中表达基督的爱。By cleaning their sores, by、uh, helping them deal with the, the terrible indignity of this disease at the end of their lives. 借由服侍他们，借由洗他们的衣服，来做这种尊荣他们的行动，来表达神的爱。And what I observed changed me forever. 那个时候，我所看到的事情就改变了我的一生。Because what I saw was that、uh, these young men very often came to peace with themselves and with God, and they had a conversion of heart. They, the vast majority of them, ended up dying in peace and dignity because they had experienced this self-giving love. 因为我们看到这些病人，他们虽然在临终的时候，但是他们心里是平安的，是安全的，因为知道有人在关心我，上帝在关心我，所以可以平安的过去。And this is what demonstrated to me what is the faith of the heart. 这就我就看到了他们心中的信心在哪里。And so when I see you say His banner over us is love, that Could be easily be the motto of those nuns, giving the, the love of, of their faith to these men who had been forgotten about and left on the wayside. 我就看到你们说以爱为旗，在我之上，这些修女所做的就是用爱心来服侍这些人。Mother Teresa said that do not think that love, in order to be genuine, has to be extraordinary. Mother Teresa 修女说，你不要认为真实的爱是一定要做大事才可以的。What we need is to love without getting tired. 爱就是不辞辛劳的付出 Be faithful in small things because it is in them that your strength lies. 在小事上忠心，这就可以看出你力量的所在 So I have seen the transformative power of that kind of love and that kind of humility. 我看到这样的谦卑以至于带来人心的改变 And、uh, to see that, you cannot help but to be changed by it. 我看到你，这你看到这个状况，你不得不心中有改变。And so my hope is that all of us can find ways, even small ways, to reflect that that self-giving love. 所以，我希望在座每一个人都可以找到你特殊的方式，能够来反映这种不自私的爱。That is at the heart of our faith, and by by loving like that, loving like that in our own ways, especially with those who are the most marginal in our in our in our. Societies in our own circles, we can truly demonstrate、uh, the, the gift that is that is your faith. 这就是我们信仰的中心。借着去关怀社会上边缘那些没有人关心那些在痛苦当中的人，我们的信心，我们的爱就这样子流露出来了。So thank you very much for letting me share that some of my experience. 所以很高兴，谢谢大家让我有机会能够分享我一些的经历。And thank you all for being a great blessing to Canada.